Trisha Hirschberger, and you are watching DIY in 5. This one goes out to all of our iOS friends out there who rely on iPhones and iPads to keep connected, but find themselves unable to upgrade or use all the features available to them due to lack of storage. Because storage on these devices is not upgradable, it's really important to free up as much space as possible whenever you can. Here are five tips to free up iPhone and iPad storage on iOS 9. A great first step is to clean up those apps. I know, apps are what make your phone such a great digital companion, but they can also take up tons of storage if left unchecked. Apple has included an easy way to see which of your apps are taking up the most storage. Simply go into Settings, General, Storage, and iCloud Usage, Manage Storage. This will show all of your apps largest to smallest. Delete some of the larger apps that you can do without and you can quickly get a few gigabytes back. Come on, are you still playing words with friends? Next, stop saving those old messages. If you notice that Messages is your largest app, there's a good chance that the pictures, videos, and other attachments you've shared with friends and family are still sitting there, taking up valuable storage space. This happens when your phone is set to keep Messages forever, but it's a simple fix. Go to Settings, Messages, Keep Messages, and Update Your Settings. You can choose from a month, a year, or forever. Now, we know pictures and messages could be the culprit of low storage woes, but pictures taken in general with your phone can also cause issues. Most people no longer use traditional cameras, so many of us have multiple photos of the same thing on our phones and never delete any copies. There's a few ways to take great photos and videos without using up so much space. When taking HDR photos, don't keep copies of both the HDR and normal photo. Go to Settings, Photos and Camera, and uncheck Keep Normal Photo. Also, make sure live photos are turned off. These are fun, but can take up to two times more storage. Go to your camera and toggle live photos to off. When shooting video, if you use 720p instead of 1080 or 4K, that can save up to five times as much space. Go to settings, photos and camera, record video, and change to your desired resolution. If you love to watch HD movies and TV shows on your phone, you are not alone, but you may be taking up tons of space on your phone. The great thing about buying media from iTunes is that you can delete them from your device and stream or download them again when you're ready to rewatch. Go to the video app and tap edit on the top right. iTunes will place an X over all the videos saved to your phone. Podcasts can also take up lots of space if you aren't careful. As more and more people create podcasts, you may find yourselves filling up storage quickly with the latest episodes of your favorite show. There's no need to save episodes of podcasts you've already listened to. Go to settings, podcasts, and make sure delete played episodes is selected. So that's it. I hope you freed up tons of storage on your favorite iDevice. If you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching DIY in 5. I'm your host, Trisha Hirschberger, and I'll see you next time.